What's going on guys? It's the Sixth Tool here, and I'm bringing you a review of the All-Star CM3000 SBT Pro Elite Catcher's Mitt. This is the 33 and a half inch model, so let's jump right on into it. So as you can see here guys, it is a black and tan based colors with black lacing and one light yellow lime greenish um, accent, as you can see right there on the Pro Elite um, branding. Other than that, it's just all black and tan. Um, the thumb and pinky laces are both tan. And as you can, guys can see here, it has tan deep, um, fine lacing as well. And overall, guys, this is an absolutely great mitt, great catcher's mitt. It just feels so perfect. Everything about it, the pocket forms completely deep if you break it in right, which is another video in itself. Um, as you can see, it does have a back leather back leather um, velcro strap to keep your hand secure and I, I, people don't like this because they don't think it looks as good but it's much better this way trust me you don't want just a one size fits all type of glove and that's what makes this this glove so exceptional just in another aspect as you can see here just some more close-up shots I'm just trying to give you every angle as you can see the big gold embossed or tan embossed all-star logo there and same thing on the wrist on the wrist strap as you can see, Pro Elite there, that's the only other color in this glove other than the red on the All-Star, but it's a, like a limeish green, bright yellow, fluorescent color. It reminds me of a Wilson logo, honestly. It's the same color. But honestly, I love this glove, guys. It, it just feels absolutely perfect in your hand. When you catch with it, it just has a great pop, which isn't necessarily a great thing for pitcher-wise, but it, it still sounds awesome. That's also another video in itself. I'll describe that. But as you can see there, that's, that's another thing to note. The Velcro strap there... If you want that Velcro strap with that new All-Star logo on it, you want that. If they someone tries to sell you one with the with the older version of the All-Star logo on that strap, it's the older version, and it has different laces as far as I know, so it might not be as high of quality. So just something to look at when you're looking to buy this glove. As you can see here, I'm just showing you the web. It's a traditional half-moon web style with a cross-laced web. As you can see there, cross-laced. Um, I kind of want to restring it and do a straight lace because it builds a deeper pocket, and that way it's harder to catch in the web and ruin your web. Uh, also, breaking it in is a total another video. I have a lot of videos ideas here, guys. And as this is my first idea, or first idea, first video, please bear with me. As you can see on the inside of the glove, it says Profile Toe, CM3000 SBT, and a large all-star thing. As you can see right here, all-star, all rights reserved, you know, just the typical branding, just to show everyone, that, and that looks sweet. Profile Toe, and these are all, in, these are not just, like, inked on. They're actually sunken in a bit, so I feel like they'll definitely stay and not fade away completely. Um, as you can see just here, another open shot, and as it's open, it's not completely broken in yet, guys. I have caught with it, but it's not completely broken in. As you can see, it has a nice little, like, wool-ish felt insert here. It feels really great on your hands, and the pinky and, pinky and thumb slots are perfect. Um, you can see the half-moon web style there, and just an overhead shot. And <laughs> it's kind of getting repetitive, guys, but that's about all I have for you guys right now. I'm going to go to a live camera in just a second just to show you everything my final thoughts on it and what else I'd like to tell you guys so that's pretty much it for this part of the video please stick around to see the live shots and I'm pretty much just gonna end it here as you can get a little slow pan around of the main view of the glove thanks guys and here comes the final thoughts in just a second alright guys so just some final thoughts on this glove um, as you can see I'm wearing an under an inner glove and that's something that I would definitely recommend when you guys catch and not just with this glove, with any glove. If, if you guys have ever caught before, you know that if you don't use an inner glove, you're going to just be wearing down the insides. You're, you're, the oil from your, from your sweaty hands, it's, it's, it's going to ruin your glove. And um, I have experience with this. My past glove, I didn't use an inner glove, and it, was, it started, to, started to wrinkle and crack. And it's just a bad situation. So that's, that's what I would say. Definitely get yourself an inner glove. Mine is a palm guard, and I'll do a review on this one a little bit later, but... That's just something I wanted to point out. And as you guys can tell, when you're breaking in your glove, you'll see me doing this a lot even when I'm sitting here. Always just, like, in between pitches, roll your glove. And just that just keeps it, like, you know, keeping that shape. You want it to close as close to being with these two flush, these two outer pads, as flush as possible to get yourself that, that half-moon curve shape. And that builds a strong, deep pocket. So... Other than that, I just wanted to say you can really tell the quality of this glove, and honestly, coming from an A2000, there's nothing like this. It's much, much better. Um, anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about it. It's just, it's a great glove, it's, it's sexy, it's so much nicer than my A2000 in every way. Um, to be quite honest, if I'm just going to tell you guys, my A2000 was shit. Like, I hated it. It, it just felt cheap. 
the, the laces were extremely cheap. I had to have it relaced like six times. And that's also, I mean, just the first ones were Wilson laces. But after that, they put in shit laces too. So, I don't know. Anyway, I just, just thought I'd let you guys know that. Final thoughts on this glove. I wanted you to see some live action. And uh, I'll some follow-up videos on this. Just to let you guys know how I'm feeling and stuff. Because this isn't fully broken in yet. It's I've only caught with it prob probably a half dozen times. So, once everything's final, I'll, I'll give you guys my final thoughts. Do some comparison videos with this and my A2000, which is going to be just a kind of an embarrassment. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like the video, leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll be sure to bring more videos to you guys. Please be sure to subscribe. That's all I have. Peace out, guys.